For the last one week, government and civil society organizations engaged in working against corruption have been on a public campaign raising awareness against the vice. The week-long activities climax with an event here in Kampala. Attorney General William Bialuhanga, who represented President Yolum Seveni, as the chief guest called more commitment among government officials to fight corruption. There must be will. There must be political will. There must always be political will. And that if there is no political will, then the fight against corruption is half lost. The chief government legal advisor also argued that government institutions charged with fighting corruption should be allowed to act without influence from external forces. Do we have independent institutions? And if we don't, then shouldn't we put extra effort to ensure that these institutions are independent? The Danish ambassador to Uganda also called for a law to allow the confiscation of property of government officials convicted of corruption. Once this law is passed, it will be possible to fully establish the leadership tribunals, thereby making prosecution of leaders who fail to declare their assets possible. This would be very important, a very important step forward. Head of the High Court and Corruption Division, Justice Lawrence Gididu, proposed a law to regulate the purchase of items that cost huge sums of money. Transactions we can outlaw in terms for cash that's outlawed, that you will not be able to purchase a piece of land and register it, and it is valued at so much, even if you lower the Justice Jidido attributed the rampant corruption cases to the commercialization of politics in Uganda. We have to show that it's obscene to buy the vote. See, it's obscene to tell lies, to, to promise this and this. 2015 report by the Parliament of Uganda estimated that the country has lost more than 24 trillion shillings to corruption in the last 10 years. The picture is not any different from Transparency International Corruption Perception Index of 2015, which ranked Uganda as the 29th most corrupt country among the world's 167 countries. Ivan Chimurchigozi, NTV.